Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm from Barefoot Tutors. Today we're talking about New Universal Scope Cam 2. This piece of equipment was supplied by Scope Cam at the SSAA Shot Expo in Melbourne. I've spent some time reviewing it, found out it is well designed, durable, and easy to use. This is the Universal Kit version, so it can be used on any mobile phone device and scope or spotting scope. This uh, version comes in a nice box with some uh, Velcro straps an upgradable kit for your spotter scope and a sticky black pad. Uh, the sticky black pad can be used with your mobile phone. Uh, simply just peel it off, stick it on and line it up through the hole that it has. The upgrade kit comes with an extra velcro strap and a new locking nut and bolt for the main mount. It simply just slides onto your scope as so. You screw it down and line up your your phone with the scope so you can look through it and record. I found that it is uh, dependable on your scope if it's a good clarity scope um, for long distance you can get good quality images through it. Um, I do I have found out that the sticky black pad can cause damage if you've got a plastic uh, scratch protection cover on the back of it or a soft rubber case it can cause damage to it because it is a sticky pad but I found that if you take it all off and just stick it onto it, that's all you really need. It does have some issues with some recoil. Um, that's why I recommend doing it on a different scope so you can actually look at what you're shooting at before you uh, shoot it so you can simply don't have the recoil issue. It is uh, easy to apply to a normal spotting scope. It comes in a with a longer velcro strap so you can actually strap it to the scope itself you just take this piece off sit it on and uh, velcro it on simply it just still lines up with the scope itself but it makes it easier the uh, upgrade kit does help with um, the new locking nut so it is a more uh, tight well designed uh, piece of equipment um, the main mount, if you can use it on a spotting scope, please use it because it makes it easier. But it does have some drawbacks with um, uh, the little stopper that it has here. As, as seen, it just stops. It's a bit hard to use when you're trying to get it close enough so you can actually look through that that um, uh, that lens. Because I found with the um, spotting scopes that I've used that you really need to get up close to that to that um, lens itself. So if you could actually just use the main mount, great. If you can't, just do it the other way with a Velcro strap. Um, it can be used on a illuminated reticle version because it's easy enough to just slip it on. You just have to keep it further back. Um, pretty much your magnification also adjusts this as well, uh, the slide as well. So the first, more magnification, you have to find that sweet spot for it. Um, the least uh, magnification, you just need to bring it closer or further away depending on how your scope is set up. Uh, the scope that I'm using and I've tested with it is the Vortex Viper HST 6x24x50. Um, this one it can easily look at the uh, the video that I've shot with it. Um, it's clear at 100, 200, you can get the Mirage effect. Um, but f it is still good. Um, it does come with a uh, stock extender. So this stock extender allows you to extend your stock so you don't have your face up right near your camera because you might have some issues how far your uh, stock actually extends out. Um, so, so this is just a piece of um, rubber foam. It just slides onto the back of your stock and and just makes it longer for you so you can actually still shoot if you want to record while you're recording on the same foam. It does help reduce the recoil and increase accuracy um, but it does also come down to where your phone actually sits. I've been using it multiple times and found out that you place it in one area, you scope and that is fine and it would be accurate as what it used to be. But um, I found that if you aim it a little bit higher or a little bit lower on that uh, mount, it can actually throw off the scope. It can throw off your aim through the scope and cause you to change your uh, accurate projection of your shot. But over time, I found that using this can actually reduce the recoil and actually help it uh, line it up better. You do have some draw drawbacks with this. Your um, draw back from your um, receiver 
can actually call, uh, you might not be able to actually capture your rounds. Um, usually you just flick them out and then just load a new one. Uh, as you can see below. Overall, it is a good piece of pr a product. Um, well designed, durable, it doesn't scratch your scope as well. Uh, easy to use. I recommend it to anybody that's doing any target shooting, hunting, or just any scope, any, well, any, anything you need to do with a scope. It is a good piece of equipment. It does come at a cost of 150 on his uh, website. I will be linking that down below if you want to get one. Um, if not, uh, stay tuned for next week and we'll be doing a review on the Hunter Pro Cleaning Kit.